Virgo, welcome to your full moon in Pisces reading. I hope this finds you well. Let's start with a little oracle guidance on how you are being supported in the spirit realm at this time. You have angel of decisions. So, you know, wow, I am getting that there's a lot of choices here and you might be looking to spirit about what direction or what decision to move in. And the good news is that the spotlight is all on you right now with the sun in Virgo. By the way, happy birthday. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. And... This moon opposite of you is pushing you to look at your partnerships with others, your relationships. But what you're being asked to release right now is perhaps some kind of expansion, something that maybe you have been waiting on for a while. Um, I don't know. I just heard the wait is over. Okay. Um, the wait is over is what I heard. Um, there was maybe some longing, some looking ahead, some preparing, and I'm getting that, uh, and maybe some conflict, and I don't know if you were talking to people about it. You might have been in a lot of prayer and meditation. I'm kind of seeing it in both of the, these cards here of really looking to the heavens, um, because I get there might have been some internal turmoil that you were not really talking to others about you weren't opening up you weren't taking any action you were waiting on something maybe waiting for the dust to settle but i do see <clears throat> some kind of information coming in maybe from someone in authority and this might be something work related okay um this might have to do with a formalized partnership as well i do see some movement coming in so again, I'm being brought back to you can let go of waiting around, waiting for the dust to settle, waiting to get expansion, whatever it was that you were longing for patiently and maybe having to lay low, take a time out. Um, you, I don't know, the wait is over is what I'm hearing. So that's actually pretty positive. I mean, that's probably the most positive I've been getting so far. And that would make sense with the sun in your sign. So what you're needing to embrace at this time could be the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and some kind of generosity, some type of give and take. And this could be on an emotional level. Um, I don't know. This person might have stressed you out, though. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Some of you might be worried about the give and take in this relationship. Um this actually seems like this could be a very, um, very emotionally generous healing type of person. But I don't know if you feel like or you're, is there something going on here where maybe it's one sided. It's like you got your backs to each other and maybe one person's doing a lot of giving and the other person is just kind of having to receive or just barely getting enough to get by. This is somebody who is emotionally secure yet there's somebody over here that's very anxious not secure at all and i'm also getting a lot of sensitivity about give and take in relationships so you might be a little bit stressed out um, worried about what's being given or what has been taken and there we go with the decisions again a very important person a very important decision that you're needing to embrace having to do with a masculine energy. And this is someone who, um, somebody that you know that is well known out in public, somebody who's got a reputation or is concerned about their reputation. There's some kind of public status going on with this person. I don't know if he's turned his back on making an important decision or if he's turned his back on an important person because he's focused on his reputation and what other people think. Let's see what, what 
feelings need to be released at this time or processed. Unsure, uncertainty, doubtful, not confident, embarrassed, depressed, jealous. That's rough. That's really rough, okay? So a lot of dark stuff that y'all are having to process. And I think this is definitely coming up in that, you know, first and seventh house axis of self versus others. And again, I'm being brought back to this fork in the road of you have a decision to make here and spirits trying to guide you. And this man looks like he's not looking at a decision. He's looking at, well, what do other people think, right? This is being viewed, being watched by somebody else. And that's leading somebody, and I don't know, maybe afraid of being embarrassed. Like, I'm not confident. I don't want to be called out or seen for this. I want to make a decision where I'm not going to be, I don't know, humiliated. But it's putting someone in this dark spiral. And the shadow energy here is stagnant. Stagnant. Oh, wow, I'm getting a lot. Dependent, foolish, superficial, guarded is the shadow energy that you are dealing with right now. Either in yourself or others or both. Let's see what can heal this. Service. Well, if there's any sign that's about service, it's Virgo. I feel good when I can help others. And at the foundation change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Let's see what secrets are being held back from you at this time, like what's not being said. You got a lot here. I feel weak around you. I just want sex. I crave your attention and affection. By the way, I think Gemini got that. I haven't changed. If only one of us can win, it's going to be me. Don't give up on us. Oh, wow. What a mixed bag. No wonder you are having trouble making a decision here, but Spirit is guiding you. That's the good news. Be blessed.